Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today I'm talking all about my National Youth Theatre audition experience. I'm sure some of you might be like, what is the National Youth Theatre? What are you talking about? And I won't lie, that was me a couple of months ago. Um, but ever since then, lots and lots has happened. So the National Youth Theatre are a really wonderful organisation. They work with young people aged, I think, maybe 14 to 25 and put on really wonderful plays across the UK. Um, I got to see two of their shows, uh, The Fall and DNA last month, both of which were brilliant. Um, and yeah, they just work with young people, put on, put on shows, have courses, and all in all are a really brilliant organisation. Um, and so all of this kind of starts around about January time. Um, so I think I had recently received a rejection from a university and I was feeling really down. Um, and I remember just feeling really like, just generally self-esteem was really low. Um, and it was just all a bit crappy, to be honest. Um, and then I remember, I think I saw somewhere, um, like an advertisement that there'll be auditions at the National Youth Theatre. And I had no idea what it was about, hadn't really heard much about it. Um, and then this one night, I think, I, I don't know what happened, but it was just pretty spontaneous. I think I was just like, you know what, let's check it out. And I went on their website and I did a bit of reading. Um, and I'm usually someone who likes to plan things out, think about them a lot. But I was like, screw it, let's do it, we're going with it. Um, and so I just went on their website, put in my details, chose my audition date, and that was it. Um, I won't lie, it's quite expensive to audition, it's about £50. Fortunately for me, I was working over Christmas, so I had that kind of money. Um, but if you are thinking of applying, please don't let that money kind of put you off. Um, maybe try talking to like your school or like your local drama group or asking um, NYT for like a bursary or something like that. Please don't let the £50 kind of stop you. Um, but yes, yeah, so I did that and I chose my audition date for about March, I think beginning of March. And how the audition um, works is you have a three hour workshop in the day and then you have an audition slot later on where you perform a monologue. Um, and I didn't basically tell anyone about the audition then. I didn't tell my mum, my sister, my family, my friends, no one. I kind of just kept it to myself. Um, and to be fun honest, I didn't really think about it too much. I don't know why, I just kind of forgot about it. You know, it was like two months away. Um, and what I found really helpful to like make me like less nervous was by watching YouTube videos of people who had had an audition already. So hopefully if any of you are watching this because you have an audition coming up or thinking of going, fingers crossed, best of luck, go for it. Um, and yes, yeah, so that's kind of how I was doing. I wasn't too sure even if I wanted to go for it. Like around about February, I remember being like, oh yeah, I have that audition. And I was like, should I go? Do I want to go anymore? Um, and I ended up calling my friend, my best friend Luxney, and I was like, hey, this is the situation. I basically booked it. Should I even go? And she was very adamant that I should go. She was like, you booked it and your heart was in it. You need to go for it. And I was like, right. Um, and also, I think they do a really good thing where it's basically non-refundable. And I'm almost like 100% certain if it was refundable, I probably would have just refunded it in like February and been like, no, I can't be bothered. You know, there's no point of going. Um, but in a way it's so good that it isn't because it makes you like, you're like, oh, I have to go. I don't want to like miss out on the money. Um, and so, yeah. And so about like a week or two before I found a monologue, um, I decided to do an extract from DNA because I studied the play a few years back. Um, and it's a really wonderful play. And I chose a monologue, which is led by Leah, one of the main characters. Uh, if you'd like to, you can always upload like a clip of me doing the monologue. Um, and I won't lie, when I first chose it, I read over it a little bit, I know I was familiar with it, but I didn't really learn it. Um, and then it came to like the week of the audition, and my audition was on the Saturday morning. I think I learned like a quarter of it on the Monday. Um, and then Friday I went out with my mum and my sister, and I came back, and it's like 11 o'clock, and I'm like, oh god, it's the audition tomorrow. If I want to do it, I want to learn the monologue at least. Um, and so I spent the next two hours like in my kitchen floor just learning it over and over again, filming it, watching it back. Um, and yeah, and then basically I told my mum and my sister I'm going for like a drama workshop the next day, which I wasn't lying, technically I was, um, but of course there was the audition aspect. Um, and I was so nervous, I remember the way that on the train it was completely like, oh god, sick kind of feeling, but as soon as I got there, I was so relaxed, and it's, it was such a lovely, lovely day. I haven't done many auditions, the only auditions I've ever done are like school plays and musicals, you know. 
Um, so I mean, I was so anxious because I was like, oh god, is it going to be people from like performing arts schools and like who have had loads of experience and just like just feel like they know everything. I was so worried. It's nothing like that. The people are so lovely. If it's anything like the day I went to, it's going to be great. Um, I had so many like great people and people like from I think it's 14 all the way to 25. It's a whole bunch of people um, and it was such a good day. I genuinely I came out of the day feeling like regardless of how it went, I'm happy I went and I'm not mad about the money like that it's expensive because it was such a wonderful day. Um, how it was set out is three hour workshop was brilliant. I haven't done drama in years and so it was just nice to have a bit of fun. Um, for example, the first hour I think was like drama games, like splat, and um, there was this one point where you had to pretend to be lions and monkeys, and I remember I'm like rolling on the floor, and I was like, I feel really silly right now, but then I looked around and everyone's going for it, completely committing to it, and you're like, okay, it doesn't matter if I look really silly, nobody cares kind of vibe. Um, and then we did a bit of like root work later on, working on some like extracts, um, and just generally, it was so much fun. It was a really, really brilliant day. Um, and then we all went to lunch and then we had an audition slot and about 10, 20 minutes before my audition, I kind of got there, was practicing it, getting into the mindset. Um, and I think my thing was, regardless of how it goes, I want to be able to come out with a smile on my face saying, I did what I had to do and I'm happy. Um, because this is pretty competitive. About, I think 6,000 people across the country um, across the UK even, audition every single year and only about 500 people get in. Um, so, I mean, it's more competitive than medicine for some courses, you know. Um, and so, I mean, it's pretty intense and lots of people have to audition on the second, and third, fourth time. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I was kind of just going into it being like, don't know what's going to happen, but whatever happens, happens kind of vibe. Um, the audition itself actually went really well. Um, they were really sweet, you know, the first few minutes was just small talk, uh, then I performed the monologue and then they gave a little bit of direction, performed it again and asked if I had any questions and that was it. Within like six minutes it was done with. Um, you know, it wasn't scary, um, it was just really nice in some ways because I was like proud of what I had done and I was like, you know, I want to perform it, I want to show it and hopefully you'll like it kind of vibe. Um, and yeah, and that was that and that was probably about beginning of March I think, something like that and you only find out results I think it's 3rd of May so it's quite a wait and so I mean I kind of just put it to the back of my mind and I was like you know what I don't really mind what happens happens and I'm just gonna let it be um, and I was like you know Manisha it's super competitive you need to remember that um, and then May came along and then I checked my emails I was like crazy refreshing every single second and basically I got in um, which is so exciting and so like um, I was so surprised like I was literally I was literally sitting there on my phone and I was like oh my gosh like in my head I've imagined it like hundreds of times checking an email saying I got in um, but it's really cool and it's such a brilliant thing I'm really like it's something I'm really proud of as well um, I don't know about you guys but I'm the kind of person who needs almost like validation like I'm always like I don't know I'm good unless someone says I'm good and so I've always been like yeah, as a teacher might have said I was doing good in that play, but does that mean much? And that's really like, I don't know how to explain it, really like nice when you hear someone, a total stranger, being like, you're good enough, we want you kind of vibe, so that's cool. Um, so what happens next is I go on like a month long course, like training, drama training in August, is it? I think it's August, yeah. Um, and it's really wonderful working with professionals, putting on some pieces, all of that. Um, and then after that I become an NYT member, which means I can audition for any of their shows um, and also just go to any of like workshops and things that they have. So it's a really brilliant, brilliant experience. Um, unfortunately though, the course is quite expensive. It's about £1,000, which is a lot of money. Uh, money that I don't have saved up and money that I could never ask my parents for that, you know, for that much. Um, and so, and this is where I feel like really awkward, basically I've set up like a little GoFundMe page, I put it down below, um, and if you'd like to, you can support me, all the money that's going towards, uh, completely going towards the course, uh, please don't feel like obliged to, if you can't, if you don't want to, that's totally fine, however, if you'd like to support me, it would mean the world, uh, whether it's like £1, £5, £10, whatever it is, um, would, yeah, make me just really happy, and like I said, go towards the course, a really wonderful opportunity. Um, yeah, and so that's my experience. The link will be down below for the like 
page if you want to donate. Uh, all my social media is down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for lots more content. And if you are someone who's thinking of auditioning or, you know, is nervous about it, go for it. Honestly, if it was anything like mine, it's a really lovely experience. You learn a lot, you have so much fun. You're with people who love drama. So obviously it's gonna be great. Um, but yeah, absolutely go for it. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.